Welcome to the Kids Online series created for the new Ukrainian school. My name is Kristina Karpyuk and I'm one of the authors of these course books. I'm also the owner of a master's degree in teaching English as a foreign language. I have got school practice as a teacher of English and I have got the skills of an English language consultant at a publishing house. My education and experience help me to implement some of my creative ideas into these course books. The content of the new book Kids on 9-8 corresponds with the curriculum of the new Ukrainian school and the model program designed by Valery Redko and his team. It has been highly evaluated by our experts and it is recommended by our Ministry of Education of Ukraine. Kids on 9-8 has been piloting in classrooms of Ukrainian schools and has got very positive feedback from teachers of English and their students. The American linguist and philosopher Noam Chomsky once said, The truth of the matter is that about 99% of teaching is making the students feel interested in the material. Then other 1% has to do with your methods. We can't but agree wholeheartedly with the central message of Professor Chomsky that students learn best when they're interested in the material. New Kids Online 8 has been especially designed to encourage and motivate teenage students of 13, 14 years old with its lively modern design and teenage-appropriate content. It focuses on contemporary teenage culture and provides comprehensive language development. Year 8 continues the concept and methodology of learning English with Kids Online 5, 6 and 7, which have been created for the previous years. According to it, Kids Online is the imaginary site for kids to learn English. That's why each lesson page is illustrated like a search line engine. The topics of the site are similar to the topics seen in teenage online magazines, on TV programs, in films and websites, and heard in vlogs and podcasts. These familiar topics will encourage students to discuss their own views on these issues and be actively involved in using English. As you have noticed, Kids Online 8 offers skills-based development and practice through engaging topics from contemporary teen culture. It also provides teenage students with the ability to communicate well in English, both online and offline. I'm afraid young people don't read very much today. They like television and computers more. Don't you think so? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think it's that bad. Do you like reading? I love it. I do watch television and I like computer games, but reading is really special. I can imagine the characters and places. I create them in a way. What do you read? I read everything, magazines, comics, but I like reading books best. When do you usually read? Is there a special time of the day or maybe a special day when you read? I usually read before I go to bed. And you're right, there is a special day. I call it a reading day, Sunday. Well, Sunday is my special reading day. Do you buy books or do you borrow them from a library? I mostly borrow them, but I also have my private library. I buy books that I like very much. Who's your favourite writer? Hard to say. There are several of them. Let me see. Lewis Carroll, perhaps. And what is your favourite book? Is that Alice in Wonderland, then? Right, Alice in Wonderland. But I also like the Harry Potter series. What was the last book you read? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. What is it about? It tells the story of a boy, Charlie Bucket, who loves chocolate. But his family is very poor, so he eats chocolate only once a year on his birthday. He gets lucky and visits a chocolate factory. He behaves well during the visit and the owner decides to leave the factory to Charlie. We all know that teenagers can present a special challenge for teachers and parents. They are transitioning from children to adults. This is the time when they need security and support, as well as encouragement and inspiration. Bearing all this in mind, we designed the course to be authentic. Language is presented through relevant and real-life content, from the humorous situations, through the real people interviewed, from guidebooks as advice for travelers, and other authentic sources. 
Content has been carefully chosen to inspire and challenge teenagers, and the style in which it is presented reflects the way that today's teens access information and entertainment from the internet using personal devices such as tablets, laptops, and smartphones. Interactive. Moving to a much more personalized and adaptive approach, Kids Online 8 does not just provide static content, but also multiple opportunities to investigate and interact with that content through productive activities and projects. By interacting with the content, rather than merely practicing the target language, students acquire the language at a deeper cognitive level. English becomes the tool through which they access a wider world of knowledge, skills, and experience, rather than just another subject on the curriculum. Personalized. When you personalize a language, you use it to talk about your knowledge, experience, and feelings. Lessons are likely to be more interesting and hence more motivating if at least some of the content concerns the people in the room rather than the characters in course books. On these grounds, we suggest that personalization should not be considered simply as something additional, but should be the principle on which most, if not all, classroom content should be based. Extralinguistic. Today's learners require materials that will expose them to ideas and extra materials that create cultural awareness, materials that will inspire. Kids Online 8 provides students not just with English language skills, grammar and vocabulary, but also with the confidence they will need to become fully rounded citizens of the global community. The key skills focused on in Kids Online are the five C's, communication, collaboration, creativity, cultural awareness, and critical thinking, the two A's, assessment for learning and autonomy, and 1D, digital literacy. The key 21st century skills and competences are embedded in the new English language course for the Ukrainian 8th formers. Let's look inside the new student's book. It contains a short starter and eight topic-based units, Kids Online 8 has called grammar focus pages, English Ukrainian vocabulary list, and a regular verbs table in the end. Each unit contains topic vocabulary and grammar appropriate at this level and, of course, skills development in reading, listening, speaking, and writing. We believe that learners need to know what they are aiming for and why. This is the key to building confidence and helping learners make progress. And this is the reason why each unit starts with the introduction page where learners are informed about the language objectives and skills that they are going to learn and practice. Well, what about the structure? Every unit has a clear structure that includes sections in a particular order. As you can see, the introduction page suggests several questions to engage every student into the topic and informs what he or she is going to be aiming for in language and skills. Motivating, topic-based lead-in section of the imaginary site with teenage-friendly visuals is designed to engage students in the unit topic and start them thinking about some interesting points or questions. This section of the unit provides the exposure of online materials and communication through blogs, podcasts, comments, and messages. Here, students listen to their peers from different countries, get familiar with their opinions and beliefs, their lives and interests. This section usually ends with a task to produce some online communication on their own. Next is the vocabulary search section with active topic vocabulary of the unit. New words can be introduced in different ways. Very practice activities, including listening exercises, help learners remember the key lexis. There are two vocabulary sections in each unit. The reading search section includes manageable text on up-to-date topics that are relevant to the learners' age and interests, a lot of information about different cultures to encourage students' curiosity and motivate them to read. The grammar search section highlights the target grammar material and suggests to look up in the end of the book to find the corresponding grammar focus page. Rules and schemes with examples help to make the target material clear and enable pupils to do the exercises and tasks in the grammar search section. If students need more practice, they can use the grammar practice book and improve their grammar skills. 
The listening search section is designed to encourage students to listen and understand what they hear. There are tasks for comprehension and discussion. In the end, learners have a personalized task to express their own attitudes or tell their classmates about their own experiences. Look, I've received a message. Oh, let me see it. No, it's for me. Well, all right, but don't tell anyone. Have I ever? Oh, who sent it? You are beautiful. I love you forever. See you at school. So romantic. It must be Simon. I don't know. Maybe. Look, there's another one. Oh, no. This one's awful. Read it. Who's texted it? This is someone bad. Don't worry. They're just jealous. It can't be true. Sarah, let's go there and see. I have to walk Muffy anyway. Well, I don't... Please be a friend. Oh, okay, let's go. <coughs> Look, there are some people. It's not Simon, thank God. And it's not Jill. They've lied in the message. Who's done it? In the speaking search section, functional language is presented through audio. Real-life communication provides natural and memorable language models. Thomas, you have a lot of friends, don't you? Yes, I do. Everybody calls me a chatterbox. I talk too much. I'm a bit gossipy. Still, I have a lot of friends. Strange, isn't it? What about you, Andrew? My best friend is Ian. We have so much in common. We are both football fans, we hate heavy metal, and love SF films. He's fun to be with. And now, let's hear a go. Pam, do you have a best friend? What is she like? I have two best friends, Cindy and Emma. Cindy is a bit bossy, but she's a good friend, very reliable. You know, if I have a problem or get in trouble, she'll help me. Emma's very quiet, not a bit selfish. Everybody likes her. Pam, do you have a best friend? My best friend Sally and I are two big dynamos. We love sport and go to four different clubs. Some of our friends also say we are music addicts because when we sit still for more than 15 minutes, we start jumping and singing. Personalized questions and tasks motivate pupils to talk. This section gives the opportunity to develop communication skills. The writing search provides a model for students to follow in the free writing task. Throughout the book, Words for You, Keep in Mind and Tip Boxes will support your students focusing on new words and important points or suggesting simple and clear prompts and tips. The Look Back section provides revision of grammar, vocabulary and communication language from the unit. Activities here consolidate the skills practiced before in some creative projects or ICT tasks that require using gadgets with internet connection. Students take responsibility for their own progress through the regular self-assessment section in the end of each unit. They should consider how well they did in every unit, in which areas they feel confident and where they feel they still need more practice. This encourages students to reflect on their learning and helps them become independent learners. Not only students' book has a wide range of materials to keep teenagers focused on learning. There's also an online application to it with embedded audio and exercises for students' interactive online practice. Due to the online application, students can do interactive activities in self-check after each unit assessing their knowledge of vocabulary, grammar, and functional language from the unit and get their own results automatically due to the online system. Online application can be suitable for work both in class and at home for individual work. There are downloadable tests to diagnose students' progress on use of English, listening, and reading skills. It also contains some useful advice for teachers. And finally, Kids98 is not just a student's book with audio and online application. It is a system for learning English which has all the necessary components like an activity with audio and the interactive program which can work online as well as offline, a grammar practice book with audio, a test book for diagnosing your students after each unit in each term, and of course a teacher's book, which 
provides all the support that a busy teacher needs in order to keep students involved in their English classes. It contains step-by-step -step lesson instructions, ideas for extra activities, keys for the tests, and audio scripts for easy reference. We hope you will find this new course friendly for both students and teachers. With Kids in 9-8, Ukrainian learners of English can acquire the skills which will help them survive in the ever more pressurized digital world of the 21st century. Thank you very much for your time and attention.